Los Angeles supporters of DPP presidential candidate Lai ching -te held a fundraising dinner in L.A. over the weekend. Showing off their campaign paraphernalia, Lai's supporters say the vice president is the most suitable person to be Taiwan's next president. As for Lai's recent low-key transits through the U.S., they say they were kept low-key so that China would not have an excuse to lash out at Washington. Donning a Team Taiwan baseball cap and polo shirt, this Taiwanese expat in the U.S. is gearing up for Taiwan's election. Lai Qingde supporters held a fundraising dinner in L.A. with painter Stone Chen, president of Taiwan Daily Tom Lee, and Dr. Simon Lin serving as the conveners. It was estimated that 600 people would be recruited to support Lai. He has guts and is patient, and he refrains from bad-mouthing people. I believe in Lai Qingde. I listened to his speeches, and I was very moved. Taiwanese are not stupid. Lai will definitely win big. As you listen to Lai supporters recounting his strong points, their loyalty is tangible. During his recent transit in San Francisco, Lai attended a banquet where all three conveners were present. There were 64 tables at the banquet, and many Taiwanese expats had nothing but praise for the vice president. In more than 40 years, this was the grandest event he had participated in, reflecting the warming relationship between Taiwan and the U.S. However, Lai's transit this time was rather low-key. He did not meet with any members of Congress. Observers could see that he did not want to provoke conflicts between the U.S., China and Taiwan. China's economy is in dire straits and it may collapse any time. So they have to find an outlet for their people and divert their attention. The best way is to start a war. I think the U.S. should restrain itself as China keeps on talking smack. There's no need to provoke China, which continues its intimidations and bullying. It doesn't mean that the U.S. is making Lai ching look bad by restraining itself, but it's actually trying to protect him. The biggest accomplishment of Lai's visit this time is giving the U.S. a sense of reassurance that Taiwan will work with the U.S. and jointly manage the risk of cross-strait conflicts. Lai ching once again emphasized that he would follow President Tsai Ing-wen's four commitments and that adopting her path will increase the chances of being elected. He's the best so far, and we have President Tsai Ing-wen to thank. If you're a small country, you don't just raise your voice and get what you want. You still have to chant slogans like, side with the U.S. and reconcile with China. All three conveners have been working at the Taiwan Center over the years. In fact, the idea for the latest fundraiser was conceived and planned there. I'm currently at the Taiwan Center in Los Angeles, a key location for exchanges among Taiwanese expats. But due to the building's old age, it will be demolished next year and subsequently rebuilt. The two-story building has been in use for more than 20 years now. With more and more tenants now, the building is showing its age and in need of an overhaul. The DPP's Enoch Wu has been invited as the keynote speaker at a fundraiser for the building's reconstruction.